LR Beast Gohan and LR Orange Piccolo. Finally, we are less than 24 hours from seeing things like their details, from seeing like, you know, all this stuff that's going to be in this live stream. I should be live on Twitch for this live stream, so feel free to come check me out. I do have, I believe, if I don't have my Twitch in the description, then just look at my Twitter. I'll tweet out um, when I'll be, when I'm live and I'll send a link there and everything like that. <clears throat> If you want to come see me react to the live stream live, that would be pretty sick, right? So, Phil, just want to talk about that there. Uh, 16 hours at the time of this recording, basically 15 hours, 2 a.m. Pacific time. So, yeah, going to be pretty cool. But today will be, uh, unfortunately, not really unfortunately, but my last Beast Gohan video pre-live stream. So, I'm assuming the live stream is going to show us, like, all the details and everything for the units, even the transform card arts. But... Today we're going to be talking about my own design for how I would make Beast Gohan, I guess, kind of more or less, right? Um, I decided to kind of let loose a little on this concept because it's it's Beast Gohan, man. Like, <laughs> let's, let's go crazy. It's Beast Gohan. I'm so excited for this release. And you can probably tell by the amount of um, videos I released this week, just like covering, you know, speculation and everything. I'm just very, very happy that this is finally happening. And Orange Piccolo, I will have a video out for him as well. Just ended up doing the Beast Con video first, right? Um, both are equally hyped to me personally. And I just, I'm so excited for this release. But <clears throat> let's hop right into it. Again, as we know, he starts off as LR Ultimate Gohan. So it's not just a standalone Beast Gohan. He's transforming from what we're, I'm going to presume in the kit and everything. He's going to be a transforming card into Beast. I think that if he's not a transforming card, that's kind of... um dropping the ball with him but yeah you know, let's hop in here let's take a look at my concept so i did make him uh the dragon ball superheroes leader i do think that you know it just makes a lot of sense of him and probably orange piccolo are going to be leaders for this category team i just especially since it was implemented on global as well you know it just makes a lot of sense if they put it together like this so <clears throat> I think that'd definitely be a good idea for him to be a Dragon Ball Super Heroes category leader. I mean, it would be, it wouldn't be the best category right now, I would say, because, you know, Dragon Ball Super recently hasn't really been getting too many, like, actual releases. Like, this year, have we even got, like, a Dragon Ball Super Dokkan Fest this year? <clears throat> and, like, at the top of my head, no. Well, we got, uh, no, we got the, um, the LR Gods, and that is it. That's the only, I think, Dragon Ball Super uh, release we got this year, basically. Which, you know, uh, may, correct me if I'm misremembering. I uh, could be misremembering like a really big unit. But, yeah. Um, well, we got the Gamas, I guess, right? But, <clears throat> still. This category would be the greatest. But allow them to get, like, again, like all the Gammas on the team together. All the superhero cast, right? I think it'd make a lot of sense. And then, Bond and Parent Child. I do think that he'll he's likely to be a Bond and Parent and Child category leader. I Like, the movie was basically around his relationship with Piccolo. And his relationship with Pan. Um, the whole reason why he went to this fight is to save his child from, you know, the root of an army. So, clearly it's like, well, obviously, his his bond with Pan is really highlighted here. And I think it would make sense for Beast Gohan to have such a vast category, like a vast leader skill, right? Obviously. Now, I gave the 30% for the actual 200% of the leader skill to Hybrid Saiyans and Bond a Master and Disciple. So, obviously, you know, Hybrid Saiyans would just, you know, be Gohan, Pan, Trunks's, right? You know, Dragon Ball Super Trunks would fit in here. Um, a lot of Trunks's, you know, do fit in this one. Some of the Z Trunks's don't, unfortunately, for like, you know, the 200% Hybrid Saiyans, stuff like that. But basically, yeah, I think that would be a pretty good addition. And then Bond of Master and Disciple. So, it would get like Vegeta's in here. It would get LR Vegeta and Trunks in this category. It would also get, um... What's his face? Uh, the the actual unit escaped my mind, but Piccolo. Any Piccolos on this category specifically, of course. Yeah, how could I forget LR Orange Piccolo, brother? But yeah, um, I think this would be a pretty good 200% leader skill. They usually are. They they seem to be liking to do like the multiple buffs, at least two categories now. So I think that's going to be the case. We'll see though. Maybe they only just do one category here. But this would be good. It would get, again, all Gohans, Pans, all the 200% leader skill. I think that's going to be the most important thing for how Gohan is, as a, I guess, as a character, how he was in the movie. Um, they usually like kind of doing like that. 
So yeah, let's just skip ahead. Uh, his super attack effects, again, this is Ultimate Gohan. I gave him um, basically just stacking defense on his 12 key and stacking attack on his, um, no, stacking defense on his 18 key, I mean, and stacking attack on his 12 key. Uh, both of them have a high chance to stun. I think that's just going to be good for Super Battle Road. Just kind of throw that in there, like a little like extra effects, you know, the high chance to stun could be pretty useful in certain events. Uh, again, like I said, Super Battle Road, right? Um, so the idea is obviously I do. I would say defense stacking would be prioritized, but in the event that you want to stack attack, right, you do have the ability to get the 18 key, and obviously, you know, uh, I guess I'll spoil it a little, he'll have an active skill, uh, attack later on, so the stacking attack will really, really help that effect, right, uh, just make it do some extra damage there, especially with some additionals. Yeah, it's kind of like Buhan, um, LR Buhan, right? I guess Bugo tank specifically, where he stacks defense on his 18 key or stacks attack on his 12 key. LR full power freezer, right? A lot of these LRs do like that. So I, I think it's actually a pretty cool mechanic uh, overall. Um, so I definitely think that this would work on an ultimate Gohan. So yeah, uh, that's why he decided to choose that there. Now we get to the meat of his kit, the passive skill. So. He activates the entrance animation once only, and that's obviously when he's going to transform into Ultimate Gohan here. Um, and then he gets Key 2. Oh, uh, actually, you know what this should be? <laughs> Wait, okay, no, no, man, I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm right. <clears throat> actually, this should have been... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm in a little oopsie daisy this should have actually been uh 58 percent just defense not extra attack though you could probably argue it's better the other way let me know what you guys think would it be better with the 40 percent attack and defense or the 58 percent defense i i did in my original design i did have 58 percent defense and guards all attacks for the rest of battle when there's another bottom master and disciple category ally on the team so essentially you know if you're running I don't know, Orange, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Trunks. Even Pan. Pan should be on that team as well because, you know, her and Piccolo, right? So she would be on the Bottom Master and Disciple team. Um, Bottom Master and Disciple, Parent or Child Bond, whichever one of the two, right, could fit. I think that this one would be fine. Um, it would work out. Key 5, attack and defense plus 158% just as a baseline. Attack and defense plus 58%, and then high chance to perform a critical hit when performing a super attack. So obviously that's when attacking, he does have the high chance to perform a crit and the additional stats. Pretty strong. He performs an additional attack that has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack if he's at 18 key or more. So essentially what would happen is, let's say you're again at the 18 key threshold, you do his ultra super attack, you stack the defense, then you have the potential chance to get some extra attack stats in there. Kind of like how LR Vegito Blue works, right? Where, you know, if you hit the 18 key super attack, you could potentially get an additional super. You want to be stacking defense here, but... The stacking attack could be cool on the extra, you know, high chance of stun. I mean, not the greatest effect ever, but it'll be helpful in the future to help build up his active skill damage, right? And then he does give all allies key one 20% attack and defense. And when his guard is activated, he gives an additional 15% attack and defense and key one to super class allies. So what happens there is that he's going to give that 20%, then a multiplicative 15% top of that. Actually, you know, I feel like that could be 20 yeah, right. Now, let's make it. Let's make it twenty. Right? Why not? Why not? I don't think that's gonna be that big of a difference. Um, but it'll be helpful. Uh, yeah. The twenty percent on attacking basically, and then twenty percent start a turn. That's gonna be pretty helpful for a lot of units, and I think that's a pretty cool thing to see. Right? I mean, I guess ideally you would have it all like when guard is activated, but I think this is fine. Right? Kind of split between the two, and obviously this kind of incentivizes you to run this guy in slot one to give the support and everything. So this guy is getting. What, one, two, uh, seven, nine key basically just for free, right? He's getting a lot of stats here. He's just doing a bunch of these additionals, high chance to crit, right? Um, but he's not really doing anything special. He's a little basic, I'd say. Uh, just a guarding, stacking defense unit with support. I think that's, you know, pretty like, you know, <laughs> it's just, a, just good things, right? But a little basic still. I don't think that it's bad to be like a basic design unit as long as you're fun to use and you do at least some interesting things like you know additionals i feel like a lot of people have fun with additionals supports cool guarding stacking right it's, it's a pretty fun thing at least for me but yeah i think that you know a lot of ultimate gohans are you know stacking guarding supporting right so 
I, that's kind of where I pulled inspiration from. I kind of just made it like an LR version, but yeah, that's pretty much it from there. So we do have his active skill. So it could be used from the fifth turn from the start of battle. If there's a Piccolo on the team or uh, if HP is under 58%. So not really the most difficult thing ever. You do have to wait five turns, but let's just say Beast Gohan's pretty good. So <laughs> obviously. Uh, his link skills are the same lineage on the family called Judgment Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So, uh, I think this would be a pretty good link set for Ultimate Gohan. I did give him Prepared for Battle. The existing Gohan in game. Um, the, the, can I click this? I, I copy and paste it from like the wiki. No, okay. Well, if I. Can I? No, I can't do that. Okay. I don't know why. I, did you, you guys saw the link pop up, right? Whatever. Anyways, um, I think this would be a good link set for Gohan. Shocking speed, prepared battle, insane lineage, a three trifecta of links for key, really good. On the family, cold judgment, right? It's very strong defensive links. I think this is just a good link set for him. Um, so yeah, and that's pretty much it for ultimate Gohan there. So now let's move on to Beast Gohan. So obviously we know that Beast Gohan right here. We don't know if this is the actual transformed art. I don't think it is. I think we're going to see a different art. This is just like the pre-transformed art, like the little effect part of it. So, I would assume, again, we're going to see a different art there, but, I mean, Beast Gohan right there. LR Beast Gohan, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to repeat it myself. Okay, and also, I guess I never talked about it, but I think it's going to be Int. Um, I think Int is a good typing for him. But, I don't know, you could be like, I guess Tech could work, right? Well, it doesn't really matter too much. So, a Super Tech effect. Uh, I just made him 30% raises for the turn, but both do Mega Colossal. I think that Beast Gohan is a unit that would probably do mega Klaus on both the super attacks i mean a lot of super saiyan 2 gohans do the same right from the cell saga i believe the agl one that's transformed and the int one both do mega colossal under 12 key um again not the biggest difference but it'll help you get some extra damage in there which is going to be pretty cool right and again the attack and defense raise will be helpful so i made them um again i just i made it pretty good Key 8, 200% attack and defense. Attack and defense, and then a high chance to perform a critical hit for the rest of the battle when guard is activated. Now, you'll see there's no actual guard in here. So, what happens is, based on the kit that I gave right here, and it's pre-transformed, I gave him key 2, 58% defense, and then guards all attacks for the rest of battle. So, there's no transforming unit that has, like, an entrance animation that says last for the rest of battle. So what that would at least make, what that would do at least in this concept is that would give um, him, he would already have the guard and the extra 58% defense and two key. So he just tends to be at 10 key, um, basically 258% defense. And then he has the guard already, right? That's just already from previous, the previous transformation, right? Um, and if it doesn't work that way, you just kind of, implement that into the kit right doesn't matter either way the end result is that's how i that's how i um the word escaped my mind <laughs> and that's how i wanted the end result to be him guarding obviously so it's high chance to create then the extra stats when he activates guard so obviously in slot one uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to get with the stacked defense you would have had forms a guaranteed additional super attack if he's at 18 key or more that's basically going to be guaranteed with 10 key start of turn I gave him counters, uh, normal tie counters. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's just funny. Because uh, it, it just has counters, right? With the guard and the de stacked defense, right? Pretty good, I feel, you know. Um, and then on top of that, you have to keep in mind again. With the counters, we have the stacked attack from the previous form. So this is all like building up Gohan, building up to Beast Gohan. That's kind of like, you know, the design. So when we get to Beast Gohan, he just destroys everything in the game. And he has the high chance to crit. So he's going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage. Then on top of this, he gives support 5% attack and defense per key sphere obtained to super class allies. And then he just gives 8% damage reduction for free. Because why not? Then, if there's a bottom master and a disciple category ally on the team, he does create rainbow key spheres. Then, for each rainbow key sphere that he gets, he gets another. 
5% damage reduction. I'm considering like making that lower or just getting rid of that. Let me know if you guys think that's a little bit too much because there's a stack defense, the guarding, and the damage reduction. That might, maybe that might be a little much, but it's Beast Gohan, bro, for real. Then he gets an additional attack plus 58% when attacking. If his key is 24 or more, or I guess it's just key is 24, right? Or when he uses the active skill. So. Yeah, um, the active skill obviously is going to be quite strong. Can be activated when HP is 58% or less, or when there's one enemy whose HP is 58% or less. Obviously, that's after transforming. Greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to the enemy, and disables enemy's action once within the turn. Now, I considered giving him guaranteed crits for the rest of the turn. I think that would be kind of... Maybe that... I think that would actually be a little much... With his counters, right? Imagine the active skill that hits for like a gajillion damage. Then you have this counter guard unit, <laughs> right? I think that it's fine that he doesn't get crit on here. Especially since, again, he at least has the high chance already in his passive. I mean, if anything, maybe just make this like a guaranteed crit temporarily on just the attack itself. If you really want to go that far. But I don't think it's the biggest deal ever. It's still going to hit pretty hard. Then his link skills, uh, the first awakened, I changed same lineage to first awakened. Uh, spoilers for Orange Piccolo, he's gonna have the first awakened as well. I think that that link is actually like it's a like pretty strong link. So yeah, you know, first awakened on the family, cold judgment, shocking speed, proof battle, fierce battle, legendary power. Um, the only things I did right here is categories. I didn't feel like, you know, honest, I'll be real, I didn't feel like writing like 20 categories. Uh, I did do a video covering what categories I think he'll be on. So if you haven't seen that video, I guess check that out for like kind of, I guess the extended part. I made that video a few days ago, but still. Um, yeah, that's what I would like to see from LR Beast Gohan again. I think he's obviously going to be good. Will he be as good as this? Probably not. I think I made this kid just absolutely absurd. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think of this design. I personally am a little proud of this sign. I think he's pretty good. He can the effect where he's building up an ultimate as he's fighting, and then that's all leading to Beast Gohan, where he just you know goes crazy, just insane, right? But yeah, thank you all for watching again, and let me know what you think. Live stream in 16, 15 hours at this point, right? And I'll catch you next time.